Greetings from Dr. Peter McLuhan, your host for another adventure in the life Jesus modeled. Our topic today is the Father's heart. The Gospel of Luke records a story that Jesus told about a father who had two sons. The story reveals the father's heart for his lost son and his loveless son. Jesus told this story to expose the hearts of religious people who thought they were pleasing to God. One day, the younger son shamed himself by asking his father for his inheritance. Amazingly, the father agreed to divide his property between his two sons. Shortly after receiving his inheritance, the younger son left his father. He traveled far from home, and there, Luke says, he squandered his property in reckless living, and when he had spent everything, a severe famine arose in that country, and he began to be in need. Luke chapter 15, verses 13 and 14. From having whatever he wanted, the younger son ended up needing to beg for food. His friends abandoned him soon after he had spent all his money. Luke says he was so hungry that he wanted to eat what the pigs ate, and no one would give him anything. Someone listening to me right now might be desperate for food. It could be that you have wasted your money and have nothing left and are very hungry. It could be that you are in a desperate situation, not because of any fault of your own. Whatever has brought about your poverty, I invite you to do what this younger son did. Luke says in chapter 15 and verse 17, he came to himself and said, how many of my father's hired servants have more than enough bread, but I perish here with hunger. I will arise and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. The son decided to say to his father, I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Luke chapter 15 and verse 21. And so he began his journey home with these thoughts in his mind. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion and ran and embraced him and kissed him. Luke chapter 15 and verse 20. The father said to his servants, bring quickly the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. Luke chapter 15 and verse 22. The father gave him a robe, a ring, and sandals. The robe established his son's dignity and authority. The ring restored his financial stability. Sandals elevated the boy from the position of a barefoot servant to a son of the house. The father made a great celebration for his son, saying, my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to celebrate. Luke chapter 15 and verse 24. While this great celebration was going on, the father's older son was eaten up with anger and resentment at his brother and his father. Luke says the older son was so angry he refused to go in, and the father came out and entreated him, but he answered his father saying, Look, these many years I have served you, and I have never disobeyed your command, yet you never gave me a young goat that I might celebrate with my friends. Luke chapter 15, verse 28 and 29. The father gently said to his older son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. Luke chapter 15 
and verse 31. What a powerful story. It is clear that both of these sons were suffering from what the Bible calls an orphan spirit. What is an orphan spirit? It is the belief that no one is looking out for you. No one is there to take care of you. It is the belief that you have to fight for everything in life because you won't get any breaks and nothing will come to you. Although these brothers had a good father, neither of them had learned to trust him to know his heart. It was not until their own hearts were exposed that they began to understand their father's heart. The father saw his younger son when he was a far distance away and ran towards him. The father saw the older son was not present at the party and he went out to find him. The father sees what you and I are going through. The father felt compassion for both his younger son and his older son. The father felt compassion for the lostness of his younger son and the lovelessness of his older son. Something had died inside the hearts of both of these men. And the father's message to both of his sons was simple. All that is mine is yours. Luke chapter 15 and verse 31. These two sons represent the attitude of many people towards God. Lost sons do their best to rebel against God with bad behavior. Loveless sons do their best to rebel against God with religious behavior. They have obedience but no delight. They have duty but with no devotion. They have anger without any compassion. They have pride without enjoying the very presence of the Father that he wants us to enjoy. Where are you in your relationship with God? Are you covering your rebellion against God with sin or with religion? Jesus told this story to expose the hardness of our hearts and open our eyes to see how much the Father loves us. If you are expressing your anger at God by doing all the sinful things that you can do, come to your senses today. His arms are wide open to receive you as his child. In fact, he is already moving towards you. He is ready to remove your shame and restore your honor before him. If you are expressing your anger at God by doing religious things to try to earn favor with God, come to your senses, arise, and return to your Father. His arms are wide open to receive you as his child. He is ready to remove your shame and restore your honor before him as well. You're not too bad to be forgiven and you'll never be good enough to earn a place in heaven or paradise. This father loved his sons unconditionally and risked everything to win both of their hearts. He is an example to us of the heart of God himself. Father God risked everything by sending his son Jesus to die for the father's lost and the father's loveless sons and daughters. Receive Jesus as your Savior and be restored to your heavenly Father. He has a robe waiting to put on you. He has resources you have never seen to bless you. He has sandals to put on your feet. The prophet Malachi said in one of the before books, the anointed one will turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of their children to their fathers. Malachi chapter 4 and verse 6. This great prophecy wants us to be restored to God, to the same position that Adam and Eve had with them before sin entered into the world. I know this is true because many years ago I was a runaway son. 
I was running from God. One day a kind man asked me what I was doing with my life, and I replied to him by saying, I am wasting it. That man walked with me for a while until my heart was restored. My relationship with Father God was healed, and honor came back into my life. God has used me to help others understand how much he loves them and wants them to have a relationship with all who will trust him with their whole heart. The way to overcome an orphan spirit is to renounce the lies that Satan wants you to believe about yourself and about God. The biggest lie is that you can never be worthy of having a relationship with God. He made you to have a relationship with him, and he wants you in that relationship. Renounce the lie that you are not worthy to be called a son or daughter of God. Renounce the lie that you can be good enough to be accepted by God. As I say these words, I feel hearts being restored to God at this very moment. Ask God to forgive you and open your eyes to see how much he loves you. He will do for you what he has done for me. Next week, we'll continue studying the life Jesus modeled. Let me take a moment and pray for you. Could be that you are terribly lost in sin, in drugs, in rebellion, and doing all you can to express anger at a God who you think is angry at you. You're running away from him and you're far from home. Say what the young man says. I will come home to my father and he will restore me. Arise now. Arise at this very moment and come to Father God. He loves you so much. You're a lost son or daughter. Come to him. The Father's arms are open for you. You're lost in religion. You may be a religious leader in your community. And you've done all that your religion has required of you. You've memorized books and prayers, but you still feel empty. It's because the Father's heart has not yet been revealed to you. Father wants to fill your heart with his presence. Ask the Spirit of God to fill you with his presence and to bring deeper meaning and purpose in your relationship with him. Let go of your pride. Ask him to forgive you for all the sins you have committed. Spirit of God, fill the one praying with me right now with power and love. Heal broken hearts and heal broken bodies. Disease, go right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. If you have just experienced a touch from God, write to me and let me know what God has done for you. Next week, we'll continue studying the life Jesus modeled. We hope this message has filled you with living hope in Jesus. If you would like to talk with someone about your spiritual journey, please leave a comment or send us a private message. We enjoy reading your notes and having an opportunity to pray with you. If you received a blessing through this message, please share it with others. We invite you to become a Living Hope Partner by donating as little as $1 a month through our QR code. Your gifts will help us create new messages and reach more people. Living Hope is a ministry of Ingleside International Incorporated. All donations to Living Hope qualify as a charitable contribution. Thank you for your prayers and support. Next week, we will continue learning together from the Word of God God bless you and fill you with living hope.